Hello, I am Umesh Koyande. Today we are going to study the build process in Embedded Systems. Before studying the build process in Embedded System, let us try to understand the concept of infinite loop. An infinite loop, an endless loop, is a piece of coding that lacks functional exit so that it repeats indefinitely. Any embedded system works on infinite loop concept. Embedded system should work till the world comes to an end or power failure or power cutoff. That is what the main requirement of embedded systems. Infinite loops are those program constructs where in there is no break statement so as to get out of the loop. So it's keep on repeating the same code again and again. In order to incorporate or implement this concept, we can use while condition. So while always true or while one, if we mention this condition in program, then the code written in this particular segment will work, will run indefinitely, repeatedly, continuously. So that is what the concept of embedded system. Now let us try to understand the build process in embedded system. In embedded system, the build process is consisting of different software tools. Let us start with the code first. In embedded system, the code is can code can be written in multiple languages. C, C++, Python, assembly. It, you can use multiple languages in same program. So, if you write the code in multiple languages, this code is written in high level language. So, in order to convert that code into its machine language, we required a software tool, compiler or assembler. So compiler translates program written in human readable language into machine language. So we are writing the code that is called as a source file and at the output of compiler or assembler we are getting the file that is called as object file. This object file is a binary file that contains set of machine language instructions and data resulting from the language translation process. So this object file is created at the output of compiler or assembler. So as you can see in this particular example, so we are having three different object files. So the main condition for this is all object file should have the same format. Then this all three object files are given to the next software tool that is called as linker. Linker is a software tool that links all the object files together to create a single object file that is called as a relocatable. So all the portion of object files are merged into a single file and that is called as relocatable. It is a object file only. In normal programming system, your program ends here. At this, you can start executing the program. But embedded system is slightly different. We are writing the code on one particular platform and this code is going to be executed on some other platform. So the processor, the chip, or the memory which we want to use for its execution, we need to assign that addresses at this time. So we required a software tool that is called as locator. So locator assigns a physical address to the code written into this particular file. After assigning the physical address to the program, your file is ready for the execution. We are calling it as an executable file. This file is either in .exe format or .hex format. So this is what the complete build process. 
let us summarize the build process so you can see this is what the summary of the build process the process of converting the source code representation of your embedded software into an executable binary image each of the source file must be compiled or assembled into an object file then all the object files that result from the first step must be linked together to produce a single object file called the relocatable program a physical memory addresses must be assigned to the relative offsets within the relocatable program in a process called relocation the result of the final step is file containing a executable binary image that is ready to run on any embedded system